Hello, it's Dale here. Today I'm going to talk about um, uh, ink aid. Everybody, I think you, people must know if they watch my videos that I enjoy experimenting with transferring images and printing images. And the um, inkjet uh, regular ones that you buy are starting to get rather expensive for different things. And this product I found, uh, ink aid, I mainly found out about it through Wen Redmond's um, work she does the most fantastic work this is digital fiber art which is her book and i believe she has another one coming out later on in the year but she's obviously experimented heavily over the years with um, different coatings that you can put on to surfaces before you print on them and i'd recommend this book to anyone it's really it's just got so much information in. and just you know out of curiosity when i first uh, read it i uh, circled this tip because she was saying when she takes her camera out to take photos she puts a plastic bag over it so that it gives that muted sort of uh, image, um, photo in it. and I found that idea really fascinating so I've done that a few times but it's a great book and this, the Inkade is a great product um, there's all sorts of different ones basically it's designed to to provide you with a surface similar to that used on very expensive inkjet photographic paper and give and it'll give you a wonderful depth of colour um, which you won't get uh, often won't get when you print on through your inkjet printer if you don't put something down first now I used to use um, bubble jet set or inkjet set but just by coating it with this now I, and as you know I'm not a particularly um, great adherent to doing things properly so I've just painted it on there are different ones that you have there's the clear gloss clear gloss type 2 um, clear matte which I like to use and the iridescent pearl and the white matte we're actually out of the white matte but uh, um, well I think you're not supposed to shake it up I read that somewhere but it never makes any difference to me I always do so you know about rules that have to be broken and so I painted on in this case I've painted it onto tissue text or abaca paper so um, to do that, I'm, I'm going to print with that. Now, this is an image that I've done. It's just straight onto um, paper, uh, printing paper as you would use. And uh, it's, it's the an estuary, it's where I was uh, a couple of weeks ago. And if you see the image, it may not, you know, the inks on inkjet may not last on their own. So this is one that I've done by not just with tissue text, Abaca paper and I've printed it straight onto it and then have a look at the one I've bonded it to in this case freezer paper I either use freezer paper or fuse and tear it doesn't matter which one and I put this on with a brush uh, just a big brush and leave it to dry and um, I guess this came about because my paper was a bit wrinkled and I know that if you follow the videos there's some video links from our website They're really very useful and then this one here, if you look at it, I coated it first with ink, um, ink aid. And look at the difference between the two. I don't know whether you can show this, it's the, the definition. Ignore the um, black spots, that was just me mucking around on the computer. And I simply ironed it to the freezer paper, which I read you shouldn't apply heat to it. But as you can see, you know, this rule for me was to be broken and it worked. But the definition of color is so much better with the ink aid it's more like the printed one that i've done here um, and of course you can print onto all surfaces fabrics you can make collages with lace as long as they'll work through your inkjet printer um, and as well as that you know you want to print on different things i decided to paint some um, first i'll show you maggie gray's one this is from a book called image to stitch which is possibly no longer available but um, Maggie works a lot with um, copper, copper shim. And I couldn't find any copper shim when I used it, but she's painted it with it. And I'll show you the difference we, uh, if you, when you use it and don't use it. It's a really useful book if you're into different ways to print on. Um, as I said, I think it's possibly out of print. So I painted on the copper tissue. Now it's a very, very fine one that we have. And I painted it with, I think, the white matte. But I should have really painted it with uh, the clear the clear matte. You can see it's white, it doesn't matter. Um, and I just painted it and then with this one here, I glue, um, sellotaped it to a piece of printing paper. And if you have a look where the, where the um, ink aid is not, you see how it rubs off? And uh, the, so the ink just disappears. But where the ink aid was, it's really good. And what you've got coming underneath 
uh, is some of the copper tissue that you can see in it. So it adds to the feature. You use things how you want, but I can see the leaves um, have changed slightly. Now you can also use the iridescent and as well as the single ones, we have a set, a sample set, which is what this is from, and the um, an iridescent sample set. So if you use um, some of the iridescents or the coloured or the different uh, metallic ones, you get different results, of course, um, and there's a loads of time for ex exploring. And that's why Wen's book is so, so good, so useful. I've spent a lot of time um, reading that and mucking around. So um, if you're interested in that sort of thing, this is a fabulous um, product to use. Uh, we've bought from them a few times and probably time to start getting another one. But you can see the white up there where, because the image started um, about there where I put it on. So that's how it goes. So I hope you found that useful and I'll see you again another time. Bye.